Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stater. Today we're going to talk about our new CDI box with RER technology for the ski 300cc Rotax Singles. Okay, so here's RM Stater's new RER equipped CDI box for the ski 300 Singles. Um, RER, first of all, stands for Rotax Electronic Reverse and it's a really nice reverse system on these motors. Um, older uh, sleds had a mechanical reverse system that added, if they had reverse at all, that added a lot of weight and complexity um, to the motor and the chassis. So the electronic reverse system is really nice because you can literally reverse the way the motor is spinning um, and back up the sled without all this uh, additional parts and weight needed. Um, our CDI box is a direct replacement for the original. It has factory style connectors um, that plug right in um, same ground wire as the original and uh, the only thing we don't currently include is the cap so you need to reuse your cap off your old um, CDI box uh, for the spark plug connection. Um, it's a really easy two bolt install um, that uh, you just need to remove uh, the side cover and the front um, hood of your sled and we'll show you how to install it um, but it works really well it's a direct OEM replacement um, and uh, nobody else on the market currently has these available. The patent recently expired for this technology and we are the first to have this out. So you can go ahead and replace your CDI box now uh, at less than half the cost of the original, which is a very expensive part. So take a look, we're gonna get the panels off here. We'll show you how to plug it in and uh, we'll show you how it works. Okay, so all you need to do is open up your side panels, one strap here and get this out of the way. I've already done the same for the other side remove the hood strap. I've already done the same over there. And I need to remove my connector for the instrument panel. Then I can lift up my hood and get it out of the way. Okay, now we have easy access to the CDI box mounted right here on the frame rail. Um, all you need is a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet and wrench um, to remove the mounting bolts and you can pull this off. The connectors are all very easy to remove with just a locking tab and we have our spark plug terminal on the other side and we have a ground here to the motor. So we're going to reposition the camera and we'll just show you how to change it out real quick. Okay, so here is our CDI box mounting location. Um, I've already removed the lower mounting bolt and nut, but I've got it held in place with the top one. So let's get all of our wires removed so we're ready to swap, that, swap it out. I've already unplugged the spark plug, pull the wire out. We do need to reuse the cap here, so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it. Just hold the wire, and I can unscrew the cap and pull it off, set that aside. And then we have our ground wire here that is mounted to the motor. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. I've already loosened it, so I'm gonna remove the bolt. Okay, and then we have three connectors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift the locking tab and pull down on them. Now they're all different uh, number of wires. There's a four pin, a three pin, and a two pin, so you can't mix them up when you reinstall them. And they're all keyed, so they only go in one way, so it's really simple. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old box. And that's it, now I'll get it out of the way. Now we'll show you how to install the new one. Okay, so I have our new RM Stator CDI box uh, held in place with one of the mounting bolts. Um, first, I'm going to install our spark plug cap. Um, you just slide it, the wire into the cap, hold the wire and screw the cap in until it gets a good clean bite on the wire. Okay, and then I'm going to route it over here and plug it back in. All right, and then we have our ground wire here. I'm going to take the bolt through the ring terminal and down here, right on top of the fan um, uh, mount on the motor. Okay, and then I have our wiring connections. So we have wires coming out instead of connections built into the uh, housing, but exact same connectors. And like I said, they're all keyed in different number of wires, so you can't mix them up. So there's one, two, and three. So the only other thing to do is put in your second mounting bolt uh, nut, tighten it up so that's 
uh, firm and tighten up your ground here. Once that's all done, you can throw your plastics back on and uh, you're ready to ride. So we're going to get it back together and then uh, we'll just show you how the reverse works. Okay, so we have our new CDI box installed. We're just going to show you how the system works. Um, so when you have your motor running um, in your forward speed and you want to change into reverse, it's pretty simple. There's just a uh, RER button here on your handlebar switch and a single press on it will, will do it. You want to be idling when you do this. Um, so what happens is your, your CDI box will actually kill spark and allow the motor to stall for a split second. Um, then it will actually using a second pickup coil, a second timing trigger, it will restart the motor in reverse, um, running backwards. Um, so then you engage your clutch running backwards and your track will move backwards. So I'm going to fire it up and I'll show you what happens when you use it. Okay, so I'm in my... I want to go into reverse. So you actually hear the motor die for a second. We have our reverse uh, beeper and light on. And now back to forward. So that's it. It's a pretty simple system, but it works really well. And uh, you can now get the CDI box with this technology from RM Stater. We'll be rolling it out for other models that use this system as well. So make sure to keep an eye on rmstater.com.